Are you just watching it now? Yes. I don't know, though. It's stuck at 191 for a long time, so I shouldn't be so, like... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Andrew. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe you should just stay on the count. Because <laughs> it'll... <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> You should close it so it doesn't have the chance to drop on the stream. <gasps> oh, man. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's 100,000. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you just made 100,000. <laughs> oh, don't cry. <laughs> mm, I love you so much. I love oh. you so much, baby. I just worked so hard for this. <sighs> you work a lot. You work very well. This is a good job. <laughs> Read the charts. They're all about you. Ah, oh, my face hurts. Oh my gosh. My face hurts. I'm oh smiling. my gosh. <laughs> oh. I feel like this needs to be like a speech moment. You yeah. should you should blow up the video camera and take the game yeah, out. It's, uh... <laughs> I mean, I'll probably do like a 100k video on my channel too, where I just like thank everyone. Agreed. <sighs> but you guys, you guys get extra thanks because you sat here with me while I did this entire, we did this entire stream with like just inching 75 more people and it just, <laughs> you guys get extra praise. Oh man. <sighs> man. Guys. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You deserve this. Oh, I started to cry, but then I realized I had makeup on. I was like, "Don't cry. You'll look like a mess." <laughs> um, I can't scream because my throat hurts. Here, let me get out of here. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's uh, let's. I'm gonna sit in the middle here. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be smart, Chloe. <sighs> okay, Andrew's pouring us bro shots, apparently. Can I get like some Gatorade in mine or something? Like, can we make it kind of sick person friendly? Because that would be great. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I am gonna read part of my book, I promise. I will do that in the stream, like right after this. But I guess I just really wanna say thank you um, to literally everyone, every single one of you guys that has subscribed or told someone to come and subscribe or supports my channel or has donated, has tweeted, has Instagrammed, has joined the server on Minecraft. Um, I definitely want to thank my husband for believing in me. He is like my number one supporter for everything. I mean, if he didn't have the faith in me that I could turn this into something, it never would have happened because he definitely had to work without me working for a while so I could kind of get my channel up and running. And without him, all of this definitely would not have been possible. I, I just, there's no way. I was very, very, very fortunate in that sense. And man, I don't even think any of my family members are watching this, but I'm gonna thank them anyways, especially my sister, Cammie. Her probably more than any of them. No offense if any of my other family members see this. Um, she is just the one person that always watched all of my videos when I was starting out. And it really meant a lot to me to have somebody I knew watching all the time. And yeah. Also, I'm probably going to be doing a giveaway. Actually, no, I am going to be doing a giveaway. It's not a probably. I have no idea exactly what I'm giving away yet, but it will probably be a couple copies of The Sims or like maybe an expansion or some stuff packs. There'll probably be like first, second, and third prize winners. Haven't completely figured it out, but within the next week or so, there'll be an announcement for that. Um, I don't think I told you about that, but we're doing that. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is like a humongous honor, and I promise... When I get my play button, I will do an unbox video and I'll probably cry like a little baby and it will be the best thing ever. And I'm sorry I'm not even reading chat right now. I feel like, Andrew, you should be like looking at cry this. Cry like a little bitch. Yeah, I'll probably cry like a little bitch. Uh, before, before we do anything, please. Oh, yeah, before. Oh, please put that down. Just, no. <laughs> what did you put in this? I told you I wanted Gatorade. You don't want Gatorade in your bro shot. Why not? I'm going to choke. My throat already. Thank you. <laughs> to you. 
To me. To you. All right, to me. <laughs> and your honor does as well. This is a big ass shot, Andrew. <coughs> oh, like a chump. <clears throat> Not a champ. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you're good. Actually, maybe that'll make me feel a little better. Maybe that'll make you feel... 100,001! Look at that. Oh, good. It didn't go down. Okay, actually, I need that laptop because that's where my book is stored. So... Congratulations, guys. The shot glasses are so cute. Oh, with the day do last more of Give away a chance to meet you, please. Oh! Oh! We're doing that, too! Um, If anybody's in the Salt Lake area, I promised at 100K I would do a meetup. So... Yes. I will definitely post a video about that and the giveaway. They'll probably be separate videos. We need to actually, Andrew and I need to collaborate on a date that works for us. Um, it will probably be on like a Saturday. I imagine maybe like a Saturday Ooh, one day nice. next month. Uh, we're probably going to go down to, excuse me. Um, I would say maybe like the City Creek Center in Salt Lake. And maybe we can all meet at Starbucks. We'll go have some coffee. It'll be great. Coffee Dude, with coffee. It'll it'll be it'll be great. I don't know if anybody will even come because who lives in Utah? But who even lives? I know in Utah? someone lives in Utah. There's one person that lives in Utah that said so they much. would come. I'm so happy that you got your mouse down. Can we keep the one million wink. <sighs> I'm just so blown away. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even fathom. Like I can't even so hard that I can't odd. <laughs> cannot even. I cannot, cannot even. even. Begin. Okay. So, um, I don't blame all of you if you don't stay for this because I know not everybody wants to hear the fictional writings of mine, but I know there are a lot of people that wanted to hear about it and so I wanted to do this. Oh, this is kind of nerve wracking because this is something I wouldn't normally do. Um, I'm really, really weird about sharing any of my writings, so this is kind of a big deal, just saying. Ooh, I'm kind of nervous. Especially because I don't want to, like, mess words up and stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> take another shot? No, no, no. I'll probably fall asleep but take another shot. Okay, so tentative title. Tentative title. Probably not going to ever be the actual title. Even if I self-publish, like, on Kindle, this will probably not be the title. But it's titled currently as Wander Island. Um, original name was... What was it? It's, like, some stupid name. It had an original name, but... Was that the Sea of Tranquility? No, no, no. Different book. Wow. I have so many ideas. Um, <laughs> so many plans. Oh, oodles of plans. Anyway. Okay. All right. Um, let me get a swig of that water first. I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> this is like, this is like stuff I really don't share. Like, Andrew's the only person that's ever really seen this, and a few of the moderators have seen it, but I really don't share this stuff. <sighs> okay. I'm like shaking. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, baby. Oh, I'm shaking. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. This is... Someday people are going to be able to read it, so I need to just get over it. Okay. <clears throat> How many pages should I read? I promised one page, but I feel like that's almost rude. You could just read the first chapter. That's like eight pages. I don't know if I'm down. We'll see. Okay, uh, okay. Chapter one. He had sold me out. That was all I could think. Wait, let me get a little closer to the, to the mic so my voice will be nice and buttery so you can actually hear. Okay. <clears throat> he had sold me out. That was all I could think to myself as I looked bleakly out the airplane window. The thick blanket of puffy clouds glistened across the pink and orange morning sky. It was Christmas Eve and I could have been home... I should have been home sipping peppermint hot chocolate around the fire with my family, but he had sold me out and ruined my whole holiday break. He, my best friend Eric, was most likely halfway to the sandy beaches of Cabo San Lucas by now, while I'm stuck here on the never-ending flight to meet my grandmother. Did I mention I never met the woman? 16 years old, and I've never once laid my eyes on her. Not even in a photo. Eric was to spend the holiday break with me and my parents, while his parents took a romantic vacation for two. But a last minute change in their plan sent him packing his swim trunks and my grandmother fighting with my mother over the flight arrangement for me. Damn it, Eric. Since my mother refused to spend the holiday with her mother, the compromise was to send me in her stead. Damn, Eric. Caitlin, my father said as I gritted my teeth, he knows how much I hate my birth name and would much rather be called Kat or even Kate. Anything but Caitlin. 
I think the trip will be good for you, he confessed. I just glared at him as I walked out the front door to climb into my Uber. I heard him and my mother both call out and I love you and be safe, but chose to ignore them. The only three things in this gosh forsaken world that I'm absolutely sure of. One is that the music is that music is the best medicine and can get you through quite literally anything in life. And two, black is the best color for clothing, especially on guys. Give me a guy in a black tee, jeans, and converse any day. Swoon. My wardrobe, or lack thereof, is pretty much all black and bright neons. And the third thing is that leggings are pants. Other than those three things, my world is a little crazy. Especially now that I have to go meet my grandmother. Maybe if I'm lucky, she'll be one of those really fun grandmas who bakes and has that little sad face bench for time out <laughs> that she never actually uses, I think to myself. I'm not even 100% sure why I've never met her. My mother always gets weird when I ask about her and won't even talk about her. I know she and my mother don't get along and almost never speak. Drink? Came a voice. I pulled one of my earbuds out to address the flight attendant. She looked at me with a smile awaiting my reply. Her name tag read Juliet. What do you have? I asked. Proceeded. <clears throat> I asked. She proceeded to hand me a small black book bound with gold inscription that read Le Menu. Did I mention my grandmother lives in France and that she paid for my first class flight to Paris? Sorry. I gave the menu a quick once over and shyly ordered a glass of Moscato. In America, I'm not considered of drinking age, but France's laws made it possible for me to try my first alcoholic beverage. The word Moscato felt so weird leaving my lips. It was like I expected Juliet to refuse my order and laugh at my request. She asked for my ID, which I, qu I quickly grabbed out of my black faux leather backpack and handed it to her. After giving it a quick once over, she left my side and reappeared quickly with a mini wine bottle and a beautiful tall crystal wine glass. I quietly thanked her and put my earbud back in and cranked it all the, and cranked it up well past noise canceling. I sat staring at the small bottle for a good few seconds before picking it up and reading the label more carefully. I twisted off the cap and poured it into the glass. Wine always seemed like such a classy drink to me. Movies made it seem so elegant when in the hands of well-dressed women having a lunch date with a friend. My stomach knotted up. I was actually afraid to drink it. I've seen my mom drunk one time. It was a few years ago. She had just gotten off the phone with my grandmother and she was more angry than I'd ever seen her. She downed several shots from my dad's special whiskey decanter, and it wasn't long before she started slurring and crying. I had no idea what to expect. Would this one glass get me drunk? Would I even like it? Bottoms up, I thought as I brought the glass to my lips. It smelled fruity, but still slightly off-putting at the same time. I closed my eyes and took the smallest of sips. It wasn't the most delicious thing I'd ever tasted, but it wasn't the worst. It definitely tasted like white grape juice gone wrong, but I decided to continue sipping it anyway. Are you on Twitch? Mm -hmm. You are? Like on your phone? Yeah. Okay. Why? I was just wondering what they were saying. It's okay. I'll keep going. It's okay. Um, sorry, I lost my place. I hope they're all good things. Um, <clears throat> where did I leave off? It definitely tasted like white grape juice gone wrong, but I decided to continue sipping it anyway. I felt pretty okay and was almost disappointed that I didn't feel differently. I polished the glass off and ordered another. The same motions of Juliet bringing me a fresh glass and another small bottle happened twice more before I noticed that my cheeks felt warm and I felt more relaxed than I had all night. My eyes drifted shut. Maybe if I kept them closed long enough, all of this would disappear and I'd be back at home opening my annual pair of Christmas Eve pajamas. What if I just don't get off the plane? My eyes popped open. This was brilliant. I could hide in a small crevice somewhere until the plane took off to its next destination. It would go back to Seattle, right? Yes, I thought. Then I could just go back home and, and, oh hell. And what exactly? It would probably just cause more family fights between not only my parents and me, but my mom and my grandmother too. I rolled my eyes at my stupidity. My body felt relaxed from the wine and I was growing sleepy. I closed my eyes again and drifted off the slow churn of the plane rocking me into slumber. I woke up to the sun blaring through the small airplane window, which my face had been smashed up against. I sat up and wiped the small puddle of drool that had collected on the window seal. Gross. I noted the, pl the plush red blanket. I spelled that wrong. You need to get on the editing. Mm -hmm. um, that lay across my lap, wondering if Juliet had put it there. I smiled slightly at the thought. I did a mini stretch in my seat, nearly knocking over the tiny bit of wine I hadn't finished in the process. I didn't feel flushed or nearly as relaxed as before. Figuring that the wine had worn off, I went ahead and ordered another glass, as well as a cheese platter. Cheese is everything! 
I glanced down at my watch. It was 3 a.m. Iowa time, which meant it was 10 a.m. Paris time and officially Christmas. Ooh, plot holes. I put her in a different setting and then put her somewhere else. I've decided that she's from Iowa. I need to change it. Sorry. So Story's still in development. Um... It was 3 a.m. Iowa time, which meant 10 a.m. Paris time and officially Christmas. I could feel the plane dipping and knew we were descending and extremely close to the end of the flight. Juliet brought me a drink and che brought me my drink and cheese before kindly reminding me that this was the last call for anything from the kitchen, as she would be taking her seat for landing soon. This time I ordered a soft red wine and almost instantly realized it didn't matter the color of the wine. It would most likely be an acquired taste over time for me. Significantly less afraid, I downed my glass in three large gulps. I was nervous and I knew the wine would take the edge off. The plane ride would be at least another 25 to 30 minutes and I knew I wouldn't be able to get back to sleep. I nibbled some brie and thin crisp crackers as I pulled my composition book out. The book had a heart etched out of it that I'd made drilling my pen into the cover over and over again until the thin cardboard had no choice but to cut away in the shape of a heart. The front also read, this book belongs to Kate. The Kate part had been written in hot pink sharpie with yellow dots on the tips of each letter. I had also added an old Lisa Frank pony sticker to the front that had all been worn, had all but been worn away over time. I've had this book for what felt like seven centuries. The notebook was mostly filled with doodles, craptastic poetry, and tons of ripped out pages where I'd written something I didn't like and discarded it or scribbled an address, phone number, or list down only to rip it out and pocket it for later viewing. I grabbed another cheese and cracker stack and began scribbling a letter to Eric, trying not to drop crumbs on the paper. Dear Eric, I won't lie. The flight to Paris has been pretty, pretty cushy. You should see my seat. It's huge, complete with its own TV, all French channels, of course, so pretty useless, and footrest. The tiny trays, the, t bleh, bleh, sorry. the tray tables could easily hold more than two plates and a glass. Did I mention I got to drink on my flight? Yeah, four glasses strong so far. I paused and began viciously scribbling over each word. I remembered how nervous I was to be in a foreign country meeting my foreign grandmother. I instantly grew envious of the vacation that Eric was most likely enjoying with his family. I turned the page and started again. Dear Eric, it's Christmas. I'm nervous as hell. I miss you. Tell your family I miss them too. Love, Kate. I crossed out the love and, and wrote in sincerely. I'd had a crush on Eric since before I could remember. It's your classic American love story. Girl meets boy. Girl and boy bond over dashboard confessional lyrics while passing the time in AP English. Girl and boy start hanging out outside of school. Girl starts to feel more but is afraid to ruin the friendship. Yeah, your typical puppy love. I sighed heavily as I shut the notebook, making a mental note to write a better letter later. Damn Eric. I mean, to be honest, if I had to choose between a warm beach, well, as warm as it can be in the dead of winter along the coast, or playing bubble bobble on my friend's couch, I've, I'd have chosen the beach too. But damn, why had I been given the short end of the stick? If I wanted to blame someone, I should be blaming my mother. But for some reason, Eric's name just sounded so much better paired with the word damn. I lean over and look out my airplane window. I can clearly see the Eiffel Tower. I now realize I must have spent more time than I intended com com blah, 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 blah. <laughs> contemplating my letter to Eric. I glance at my watch and for a second time that hour, it's now 10, 8, whoa. I glance at my watch for a second time that hour. It's now 10, 18. As if on cue, the seatbelt sign above my seat dinged and lit up, signaling all passengers to buckle for the landing. Buckle up for landing. I looked out the window once more and noticed the ground had a few patches of snow. The airport was visible now. Juliet made her last round gathering blankets and dishes before taking her seat and buckling up too. My hands were sweaty. The wine was still doling my senses ever so slightly, but I could feel the feeling fading and being replaced again by nerves. I couldn't seem to get rid of the butterflies in my stomach. I reached for my bag again and pulled out a piece of hubba bubba gum. My eyes glazed over ever so slightly as I realized my mom had managed to slip an extra two packs of watermelon gum into my bag without me noticing. She knew it was my favorite. I felt bad for not hugging her before I left the house. I vowed to myself then and there that I would hug her twice as hard next time I saw her. I hated landing, especially that moment right when you're flying over the runway and you know the plane wheels are going to touch the ground at any second, but you don't know the exact second. I hate surprises. My freshly painted black nails were digging into the white leather armrests with anticipation. My body jerked as the wheels finally made contact with the ground. The plane bounced a few times before sliding to an abrupt halt. My heart felt like it might beat out of my chest at any given moment, but I was alive. I was breathing. I was in Paris, France. End scene. Damn, that was so all of chapter one, by the way. I read the whole thing. <laughs> you people, I love you that much. That was really nerve-wracking, actually. I'm still kind of nervous. <laughs> so, what was everybody saying? 
Um, basically, adoration. Really? Of course. You guys liked it? I don't Whoa, think they Coffee's an amazing around. writer. Bows repeatedly, I'm not worthy of your talent. <laughs> That's my present wife. I would never be able to do this. You're amazing. I would have kept stuttering every five seconds. OMG, Chloe, you have a very nice writing style. Your voice is very unique and very you. And I just know I'm going to want to hear more once you stop reading. Ah, this is literally amazing. I'm not an experienced writer, but I have a very particular taste in what I like to read. And yes, I will totally buy this. Have you ever heard of a website called Wattpad? Oh my gosh, everybody talks to me about Wattpad. Wattpad. Everybody in the world is like, Chloe, put your book on Wattpad. My only problem with that is I firmly am a believer because of Amanda Palmer. She is the one who changed that for me. Um, I believe that it's you like, it's not bad to ask for payment for your art. And to me, this is something that I know I'm going to work really hard on. And even if my book is literally a dollar, I think that that's okay and acceptable. And that's why I won't do Wattpad because I know it's free. Achievement unlocked. Chapter one. <laughs> I've been told to alert you of Twitter spies. I'm shaking. <laughs> okay. I'm still shaking from reading that. <laughs> oh man, maybe I should take another shot. Shit. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Can I get some Gatorade with it this time? Gator, oh, Chris. All right, I'll make you a weird mm. Gator special. I'm really glad you guys liked it. That was really nerve wracking for me. That's like something I've never done in my life. What? Check my Twitter. Okay, I'm gonna check my Twitter. Check in the Twitter. Check in the Twitter. Let's see. Oh no, not Instagram. Twitter. 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 Let's see. Oh, you guys are the best. Hold on, I'm going through. Oh. Ah, yes. Let's see. Congrats. You guys are the best. Oh, God. <laughs> Hyper train, apparently. Did you see that, Andrew? At least you picked a good picture. <laughs> Ian. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. Hype train. Whew. So, yeah. First eight pages. <sighs> Nerve wracking AF. Um, I really, really, really want to have it finished, like at least the first draft by the end of this year, and hopefully start going through editing. Like, you can tell there's already holes. Like, I mentioned that she was from Seattle in the beginning and then like midway through the first chapter, I was like, nope, she's from Iowa. Um, so I don't know. And I picked Iowa because my dad is from there and I thought that was kind of sentimental. And I've actually considered if this book does like go into publication, dedicating it to my dad. Um, so I think that was a big reason why I wanted to use Iowa. Not that anybody asked. Which, okay. I got the shakes, man. <laughs> That was, like, really scary. I think that's, like, the scariest thing I've ever done. I'm not even joking. Thank you. I have held snakes as big as my body and not been as scared as I was just now. <laughs> that was really scary. Cheers. Smoother that time. Thank you. Whew. It's got what plants crave. Well, Gatorade? Electrolytes. Don't worry about it. Uh, do you know where my Bert's <coughs> Bees chapstick is? Have you seen I do not. That? Damn it, I just bought that. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if I should, like, keep streaming. I mean, I don't really have anything else to read right now. Oh, God, let's not. So, and I think we're all kind of tired. <laughs> um, I'm really glad um, you guys liked it. It makes me feel really good. If you steal my ideas, I'll kill you. What do you want, honey? Oh. Isn't that mine? Nope. Oh. Well... I guess that's the end. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much. Uh, keep your eyes out for 100K videos. The like thank you video, <laughs> the giveaway video, and the meetup video. Those will all be coming up very, Don't very soon. You. I know, but we're so tired. It's like 1.30 and Andrew has to get up at like 6.30 for work. So he has like five hours to sleep and yeah. Dang, I can't even like fathom this number right now. It's tripping me up so bad. <laughs> I just, uh, I cannot one, even. 100,006. Wow. Cannot even. It would have happened eventually. <sighs> I'm really glad I didn't miss it. I'm really glad we stayed up. Even though I'm tired as fuck. Sorry. I'm really glad it didn't happen while you were in the bathroom. I would have been so sad. <laughs> I would have lied. 
You would have lied, told me it didn't happen. <laughs> I could have just watched it on the stream later. You would have had to tell everybody else to lie, too. No, wait, how do you spell the Caitlyn? Um, I spelled Caitlyn. Did I close it? No, I didn't. Hold on. Caitlyn. K-A-I-T-L-Y-N. Caitlyn. It's like Kate and then Lynn with like L-Y-N. Oh, everyone's so happy. <laughs> I'm really glad you guys like that. You guys are all so supportive. Like, ugh, I get so nervous about my writing. It's come a long way. I used to write a lot of fan fiction. I think that's what gave me the most practice as a kid, actually. I used to actually want to be an author. That was like what I wanted to do with my life. I went to school as an English major when I first went to college because I wanted to be an author. But you don't even need a degree to be an author, which is way cool. No. So anyways, I really do think we should sign off on this stream. I'm tired. You're tired. I want to go. <clears throat> you want to go. Etc. I've had a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun. This has been so great. I can't wait for our meetup. I really hope to see some of you guys there. Um, whoever is in Utah or can come. I know it's kind of <laughs> weird. Catch like, flight. Yeah. Catch a ride. <sighs> I I'm swear, if it's like less than five people, I'm buying all of them coffee. Like, I mean, I mean, I can't afford it if like a hundred people showed up, but like, if like a few uh, people show same. up, I'm buying everybody coffee. Everyone wishes you well. You should check it out. You guys are the best. Just check out the chat. Check out the wishing chat. Wishing you well and and a good night. They love you and a good night. You guys are the best. It made me so happy. I do it for you. All right. Good night, you guys. Thank you so much. All right. 100K. Just Here's to the next 100K, right? All right. <laughs> Here's to 200K. Anyways. Shelly has oh, been following. Thank you, Shelly, for following. All right. Good night, you guys. Good night, you guys. This is Coffee and Curio signing off. Bye, guys. <laughs>